You know, I like to really zoom out, take a big, big picture, right? And it helps both with our farm community, but also our non-farm community understand why it's so important and why you hear us talking about soil health and water quality so much. And that's that, you know, most folks can understand that Iowa's economy is built on agriculture. And our agriculture is built on and dependent on protecting our natural resources that serve that agriculture. And so taking care of our soil and our water from a long-term, big picture standpoint is critically important to our continued success as a state. The more that we learn about uh, how we can build soil health, how we can build organic matter, and how we can use practices in our operations that, uh, you know, that, that are more protective of soil and water. And the more that we learn about that, uh, I think we, we see farmers very interested in, in implementing those practices because, again, they get at the very core level that how we treat our soil, how we treat that environment is so important to our success as a state and, and for their success uh, as a farm operation. Five years ago, when we uh, finalized and started to implement Iowa's Nutrient Reduction Strategy, which really looks at uh, nitrates and phosphorus together for the first time, again, a leader in the country with that sort of strategy, with the sort of approach that we're taking, and uh, other states are really looking at Iowa as a, a model in how we do things. It's nothing less than essential uh, that we take care of these natural resources so that we can continue to have that productive hopefully profitable agriculture well into the future.